All right, friends. This is kind of a sad video to make, obviously, and this is uh, quite a sad day in the world of bodybuilding and in the world of, of fitness and, and in the world. And it should be a sad day all over because the passing of Joe Stetics or Joe Lindner, not Litter, not Linner, everybody's saying his last name wrong, it's Lindner. The passing of Joe should be a big deal to a lot of you, if not all of you. Because maybe you haven't lost your favorite bodybuilder yet, or your favorite fitness influencer. Maybe your favorite athlete hasn't collapsed on the court or on the field yet. Maybe you haven't lost your favorite grandmother or grandfather, son or daughter. But do you see now that soon enough you probably will? Do all of you see now that there's something going on? This isn't conspiracy anymore. This is real life being hidden, covered up, swept under the rug. And when when is enough going to be enough for you? Joe was one of those guys that everybody wanted to meet. I had never met him. I knew some people who had known him. I did not know him personally. He was someone I had hoped to meet. He is someone that I had only heard good things about. And of course, the theories and the speculation are just running rampant. And everybody's saying, well, that's what you get when you take steroids, or he must have been using drugs in addition to steroids. But I'm not going to waste any time before I get to this direct clip right here. You watch and listen. Did you get the vax? I, I got the vaccine. Did you really? Yeah. Oh. Even four. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah, and also, Bru, you know how it is. This is the same like you go to a you party. You were worried about your heart? And you are with the wrong people. All of a sudden, you might do something on this party that you don't want to do because there's these people that are like, you know, you, you should do it. <laughs> dude, fuck. <laughs> So Damn, I'm in this dude. place also, I was in this place, we don't need to say where it is exactly, but I was there and my friends said like, we can get it, you should get it, man. And I'm like, you got yeah, peer just... pressure into the vax? Yeah, kind is of. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> 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 I don't like, fuck no. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It is I'm, what I'm, it is. I, I, when I think about it later on, I'm like, what did I do, man? But, oh my God, this turns into weird cons controversy therapy, uh, conspiracy <laughs> therapies, uh, theories, because I did blood cleaning twice after all this. I did a plasma fluorosis with taking out heavy metals and all that stuff. Oh man, yeah, I did all this. I don't know, is this this is too controversial probably to say this. Wait, no, say it, say I, it. I went to the doctor and I did my blood work again because I take my blood work all the time and then I show it to the doctor and we kind of see these particles and I'm like, what is this? And then they all No say, way this dude. is this is Shut from, the f up. This is from this. And I'm like, oh my god. And then I show it to another of my friends and there's all kind of hidden websites that you can't get to, but it's like the dark oh media kind of God. web. And there's even more conspiracies. This is crazy as because I know you're the kind of guy who for sure you got your blood work all the time and then you're telling me you got the thing and then you got your blood work and then it was crazy. And, and yeah, and this... My understanding about Joe is number one, he was one of the more honest and transparent people out there. And number two... In his friend, Vigorous Steve's own words, Joe was very aware of his health, very cautious of his blood work. So as a steroid user, as a testosterone user who is doing your blood work regularly, you're going to catch certain things very quickly. So if Joe is getting his blood work done because he's on TRT, most likely with a clinic because I, I'm sure he already was. He knew how to do it the right way. He didn't have to do it the wrong way. 
The ones doing it the wrong way are the guys that can't afford to go with a clinic or can't afford to go with a doctor or the ones that don't want to worry about that or go through that, that trouble. Because clinics and doctors require you to get your blood work done. My clinic requires me to get my blood work done twice a year. So in Joe's own words, after he got the you-know-what, his doctor found particles in his blood. I think the reality is this doesn't have to be a long video. Rest in peace, Joe. You were one of the good ones. I'm sorry I never got to meet you personally. And Joe, I'm sorry to you and your family that you were taken too soon. By criminals. And if you out there watching this don't see what's been done to us all over the world... then you are part of the problem. We cannot let them push this on us anymore. Because I'm telling you enough is enough. And Joe is not the most important one to pass. Joe is another important one to pass. And I do feel scared and sorry for anyone who was forced into getting the you-know-what. Thank God above, I was not, and I did not, and I did not allow any of my children to get it. Unfortunately, it makes me very sad my stepson decided to get it. But I did not allow any of my children to get it, and I am praising God now for that because I had a feeling and I knew what was being done to us. I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm saying, open your eyes. There are things going on that are much bigger than many of you want to see because then that requires opening your eyes all the way. Rest in peace, Joe. Friends, I want you, I want you, I urge you to open your eyes before it's too late. Because we're already on our way there, especially in America. Thanks for watching, guys.